Ryan here at Kibbe Tech. We're back again. We're gonna show you what we got going on in the shop. Bunch of builds as usual and a bunch of cool trucks. So come check it out. We're working on our new uh, laser cut CNC bent roll cages. We have a 2007 to 2013 four door Chevy 1500, and then we have another one for 14 to 18. They're slightly different, so we decided to make a cage for each one. It basically, comes to us on pallets like this, but then we go through and prep each tube. So, like the straight tubes, we'll put in the lathe with sandpaper. Everyone always asked how we get this finish. It's just sandpaper in the lathe. And then we prep the edge to get the laser off. And then we prep the inside a little bit too to clean up the slag. All the bent ones, you know, like this, you know, obviously you can't put that in the lathe because that'll just be bad. So we prep this with the DA and do the same, same preps on the ends and the inside. Then we prep anywhere where a tube gets welded to just get better, uh, better quality weld on the raw instead of trying to weld on this, this scale. This is the whole set for this truck. This truck's a 2012, I wanna say. So uh, we got the cage all prepped, ready for this one. The pillars are prepped, everything's ready to go in. This one's just slightly different because this truck wasn't getting caged originally, but we made some bolt-on plates on the powder-coated chassis to uh, just in case we wanted to cage it eventually. And so now we are caging it. We'll tie into the bed cage and stuff. We'll have to repowder coat the bed cage. But basically the whole cab and the cage will be one piece and that will unbolt from the chassis and we'll powder coat the whole thing, send it to Linex, do all that stuff and then put it all back together. It'll be a super nice, clean truck when it's done. All right, now we're on the uh, topic of cab cages. So the cab cage we're doing in that truck over there, we designed based off of this one that we hand built in this truck. So all the main tubes are all two inch, 4130, 120 wall. And then every like kicker tube in the roof is uh, inch and three quarter, 120. Same with like the back wall. So basically we, took this design of this cage that we built in this truck to base, you know, that's what we based our laser cut cage off of. This design I just think is the way to go for like a four door truck. The back wall with like the big W has like a kicker tube there. And it's got an X in the middle on the bottom. So a pretty safe way to build a, you know, a truck with a cab that big. Obviously this one's not done with sheet metal and seat mounts yet. And you don't have to cut the floor out. We just did that because this build just kind of snowballed. But still got to finish uh, seat mounts and like some uh, seat belt harness bars in the middle. So that's what like the cage and both of those trucks will look just like this one when it's done. For a weekend toy, this is perfect layout, easy to get in and out. This will be a four seater. That'll be a four seater. That one will be a five seater with a rear bench. It's all pretty similar, you know, seating style. Built to keep the whole family safe. Right now we're working on that truck, which is, a, I want to say a 2017 cab. So basically that cab and frame are from the junkyard. We got the chassis first, built that out, and then sourced a cab and then built it from there. It's a lot easier going that route instead of just taking a perfectly driving running truck and then making it not perfectly driving running.
Yahtzee. You know that video of like the ferret, the guy's holding it, making it dance? <laughs> That's how wiggly he was. You remember that? You know that video? <laughs> so this one's got most of the tube, most of the roof tubes all mocked up in it right now. It's perfect. I don't see it getting any any better than that. Fit in the back section of the roof, and then we're gonna move on. Fit this front section. Yeah, we'll get get those two tacked, and then weld this center. Okay. And then put it in there, tack it, and then start the front section. Okay. Once the whole roof is tacked together will slide it out and down, and then the whole cage will be able to slide out the back window. You know, we'll put it on the welding bench, and me or someone else will just weld it all on the bench, on the table, all the way around, so you don't have to cut the roof off and do any stupid stuff like that, because I don't like cutting the roofs off of these things. And then we'll put it back in. We'll get the whole back wall mocked up. We'll build that. Uh, same thing, pull it out, weld it on the table, then put it back in, weld it in solid and then start doing the B pillar and the rest of the A pillars and then C bars and all that. But all the main stuff, all the main cage and all that is CNC laser cut and bent. So we got four cages, we got four trucks that need these cages. So I didn't wanna build each one by hand and just build the same thing over and over by hand. So that's why we took the extra time and laser cut it. And we'll actually sell it as a kit too. So we'll sell all the tubes on a pallet and then send it with you know, a printout of where everything goes. The do-it-yourselfer could uh, do it at home if they want. So here we have the uh, the infamous chrome truck. We're working on the cab cage. This is our laser cut cage, same one that we went over on the other truck. We got the roof all welded out. We actually did it on the table, slid it back in through the back window, lined it back up, got it all back in place. And uh, today he's working on the B pillars and the C pillars, getting those all landed. And if you notice this truck, the cage and the cab will be one piece and it'll unbolt from the frame and we'll be able to get it over to powder coat, we'll powder coat the whole cab, get it all line X, do interior and all that stuff. Coming together pretty good. Pretty happy with our, uh, the laser cut cage. It saves us a lot of time and uh, just everything's just dead on perfect. So pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so here we have, uh, this is the roof pulled out of the other truck. A lot of people ask us, like, how do you weld the top? You cut the roof off. We never cut the roof off of anything. We always build the cages like this. It's just the way I prefer to do it, and uh, it always works out for what we're doing, so we don't see a point in uh, pulling the roof before we're able to weld it all on the table like we do. But this is one we pulled out of the other truck, and it's over here, ready to get a few more tacks in it, and then uh, we'll weld the whole thing out let it cool and put it back in the truck and keep going. So here we have our laser cut cage, still working on it. We got the roof all tacked in where it needs to be. Got uh, every joint underneath where a tube lands is all welded. What we'll do is after the back wall is done, we'll pull the roof and the back wall out and uh, bench weld it all. It's going pretty good, saving a lot of time too. Probably take an I'd be brofin for how sick you are. Uh, we're gonna show you a bunch of stuff we got going on in the shop. 
bunch of gnats in my face. <laughs> uh, have fun having sex. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think I'm f***ing stoned because my <laughs> eyes are all watering. Anywho, what are we doing? 